Garcia on left hook from down. Oh, he dropped him. Oh, 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 Oh my lord! Cause you guys overrate everything. You guys hate on me because I'm pretty and shit. Man, that's fucked up. At the end of the day, I've been boxing my whole life. We do not let people who are on the juice discuss real athletes. That's all. But in the case he actually was a villain and it was the one on PEDs, we wouldn't see Devin Haney in the ring ever again after that if he was the one that got caught with the PEDs. Never ever? No. Mm. If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm boasting. But if I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> so the theme we're going to stick with is what if. What if Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia roles were reversed? Start off with it, Edwin. Do I need to elaborate or do you want me to, uh, or do you no, kind of? No, 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 okay, no, no, okay. no, 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 this, this, um, if their roles were reversed, it right. would be the same scenario. Okay. Like, uh, you know, each fight. Okay, I, I understand what you're saying. All right. So, if the roles were reversed, um, by a popularity contest of what today's era is going, I mm. don't think that it would have, you know, um, uh, you would have got Ryan Garcia's fans, you know, getting all over Devin. In this scenario, Devin's the one that pops positive. Yep. Um, him and his father would have got a bad look. They would have definitely stripped him for the WBC world title. M mind you, Devin would have been coming in the three and a half pounds overweight. Ryan Garcia would have made weight in this scenario. Yep. Um, and then Ryan Garcia would have lost. And Devin Haney would have won. So um, they would have definitely, I think, handled... Um, Devin Haney more harshly. I think they would have gave him a stricter more punish to Devin Haney. I think that um, they would have really solidified in all the talks of him not selling being a big star. I think that Devin Haney would have been a in a bad place in his life uh, with the scrutiny. Then I think mm. that they, they would have gave him the year suspension or a little bit more time but they would have made sure that he went down as the P.E., not like the way they let Ryan out the back door. Mm. So, you, hung, so you're saying it would have been a, a less severe of a, of a punishment? I mean, more severe of a punishment, they, excuse me. They would have gave him a more severe of a punishment, is okay. what I'm saying. Okay, okay. That's exactly what I'm saying. Okay, okay. And um, they would have really, really, because Devin Haney was a young man that was trying to show the boxing world that he didn't need a boxing promoter. He was out on a limb by himself. These promoters, when you don't sign with them, they collectively don't like each other, but they will rally around each other and take you down to mm. show you that you need them to teach the other ones that are looking on into this story. And mm. Devin Haney had no backing. He was out on a ledge. He was out on a ledge. Okay. And, 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 you know, I think that if the world were reversed, he would have got a more harsher. He would have got a way worse stamp. Cocaine is a hell of a drug. He's an umbrella of fans. Ryan Brigade. The umbrella that they put on. This is not a test. It's the real deal. Help me. Help me. Nigga. Help me. You should be on the floor right there. Try to get up. Try to get up, Ty. Yo, All right, let's go, Ty. All right, Ty, same thing, man. Haney Garcia, role reversal. What happens? Edwin took off on that one, man. He got nine points in the first on the first go-round. All right, let's see. Had Devin Haney been busted for the ostrich milk. Mm. We, we can't sit here and, and, and take this subject too lightly. Mm -hmm. Because... Had Devin been on the Osterin and beat Ryan in that fashion in the ring, nah, it would have been somebody by the uh, the blue corner with a, with a little cup telling him to go pee in it. Mm. Because they testing him right then and there. Mm, I like that. 
Uh, Devin been pos positive for a PED versus Ryan. He would be being condemned right now. We would never hear the end of this. Mm. He probably would have got a five-year ban. Mm. Five? Yeah. Because it, okay. people be sitting here, ain't no way Pillow Fist did him like that. He definitely <laughs> in the juice. <laughs> Not Pillow Fist. He would have never made it out the ring. People would have been... Nah, he he on that stuff. Yeah, hey, never been on his head top. That's a good. In the WBC, they usually, you know, they let their guys slide. But Devin, you know, he got that other shade. He getting stripped that night. Mm. Immediately. They done made an example out of Devin. Not like how we see what's going on with Ryan. Mm. Saying Ryan need help. No. They saying Devin need to go to jail. Mm. And I'll pass it on. All right, go back to Edwin, man. What's your rebuttal, man? You still up by one point. Ty made a comeback. Uh, Almost caught you. Eight to nine. Edwin's up by one. Uh, well, we we would see a, a, a clear case here if we could um, really go back and watch this unfold of how boxers have their favorites and it reminds me to the point that this is a business and these are managers trying to promote and get the best dollar value of their fighters in mm. this scenario case, um, Brian Garcia being the more marketable and his fighters his his fans are starting to transition over little by little in yep. the beginning at like 6 million subscribers they weren't translating well and now they're starting to so when it comes to that as a business as point, I always thought that Ryan Garcia would get a little bit of a little backing of the umbrella of boxing because of the of the money that he generates as a fighter. When Devin Haney was in this um, back and forth trying to prove that he was the next Floyd Mayweather. Remember, a lot of these promoters, none of them like what Floyd was doing, but they couldn't stop him. You know, and they always try to duplicate but never emulate. And so my my thing is is that Devin Haney's situation, I believe that he would have been handled much harsher. And, and and if we could, this would have been a perfect example to uncover why they have to pick their favorites in the sport of boxing. And I end with that. Okay, okay. Tie your rebuttal. I mean we see what happened with Devin as the victim, IRL. Mm. What happened? The way they treat him now, as far as him as a boxer from a monetary standpoint, yeah, his stocks took a hit. Mm -hmm. And he didn't do nothing wrong. Mm. But in the case he actually was a villain and it was the one on PEDs, it, he probably would never box again. Mm. The way... I, the way the media would come down on him. How uh, the WBC, the New York State Athletic Commission would have came at him. They would treat him in the same aspect, especially after what happened to uh, Pritchard in the same state. Mm, yep. Pritchard Cologne. Mm -hmm. mm, that's a good point. Shout out to him, man. Respect. I like that reference. We wouldn't see Devin Haney in the ring ever again after that. If he was the one that got caught with the PEDs. Never ever? No. Mm. And because of how strongly disliked he is for some of the things he's done business-wise or especially what promoters view him as, they don't want his business model to get, catch on by other boxers. So they would have helped with the sanctions and make sure this man doesn't box again. Cocaine is a hell of a drug. <laughs> Time right there, maybe ran that clock. This is not a test, <laughs> bro. Edwin, bro, you almost had it, man. Ty came back on you, bro. Yeah, he had a good second round, man. He up 3 1. Hey, it's not over yet, though. Ty won that round 16 to 13. It's not over yet. Now, uh, Edwin, we're gonna let you get a courtesy pick because Ty, 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 Ty kicking your ass right now, bro. So you gotta, I'm gonna let you come back. I'm gonna let you pick the topic, bro. Cause, because that was that was crazy, man. You gotta you gotta catch up, man. You, you looking bad, man. You looking shaky, baby. You looking shaky. 
So we gotta go to what 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 <laughs> what theme you want? You want predictions? What if or dream matches? You mute you mute it, Edwin. We can't hear you. We can't hear you, Edwin. You mute it. Nah, we still oh, can't. I'm sorry. I was coughing, oh. so I muted it. To oh, appreciate you, bro. Respect. Thank you, bro. I'm, I'm smoking Ty. Ty's got his uncle in as the referee and the judge. <laughs> Look, I understand what's going that on. Is it doesn't matter. That is T.O. That is T.O. Anyway, anyway, my topic is... Right. From the hood to college, both worlds, they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold, we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.